Hi, Jason Hodge here. Just uh, a quick, hey, how you doing, you know, video here. Um, you know, this is part of the 90-day video process, and actually, it's actually kind of fun. Now, I'm not in my pajamas like I was last time, so, you know, no worries. But uh, today, I wanted to, to just kind of touch bases with you and to tell you just the awesome day that I've had today. I started off with a great call this morning. Now, I almost overslept and missed it, but fortunately, I woke up on time. You know, I did one of those burn the midnight oil things, as I do a lot. You know, my hours are a little more eclectic than uh, your everyday average person. Uh, so, you know, I was working on a campaign last night, really fun stuff. And uh, so when I woke up this morning, I woke up to the call, and my goodness, Tracy was on fire and she got us all fired up and I'll tell you why because she spoke to something that was inside of each and every one of us it was things that we knew to be true and it's always great when you hear something that you've already been telling yourself and been hearing on the inside of you it's great when you hear it now reaffirmed to you and so that's what happened today so today she was talking about you know a lot of times we we talk this talk about oh yeah you know we can do it we can do it we can do it but yet we sit believe those around us who tell us by either action or deed that we can't you know who try and reinforce the fear you know that we have lived our lives by and i tell you i had to stop and think about that for a moment you know i had to really think about it and say wow you know what there are so many things that fall into that category of fear. You know, so many things that hold us back from living our destiny and seeking out our purpose. And it's fear. It's fear-based. When our bodies fall into disrepair and we have sicknesses and disease, you know, we look at the root cause of it and it's fear-based. I mean, there, there was so many things, so many gems that and aha moments that came out of that call that I started thinking, you know what? Wow. You know, I, I really need to take stock in what's going on in my life right now. I mean, there has been quite a few crossroads that I've gone through, you know, of late over these past uh, several months. And I realized that, you know, as you get on your path to purpose, let's call it that, your path to purpose, you know, your um, decision to destiny. I like that, right? Your path to purpose and your decision to to destiny. There are things that take place. There are things that will come up to you that will either A, try to derail that process, or B, encourage it. And then you always have to choose which way are you going to go? Which fork in that road are you going to take? A lot of times we kind of look at that cliche as just one fork in one road. We don't see that there are many forks that go along our life path that at any given moment we can choose to go the wrong direction. And we can choose to stay on that road in the wrong direction just because we don't want to disappoint our ego or to, to admit that we took the wrong way. Look, just admit it. You took the wrong way. If you are in a dead-end life right now, if you are in a dead-end job, if you are miserable when you go into work every day or miserable as you go through your life every day, something is wrong. It is your internal barometer trying to show you that eh, somewhere along the way you took the wrong road. You went on the wrong fork. You went left when you should have gone right. So... All of that to say that you have a choice at this very moment. I'm doing some things in my life that I never thought I would do. I am living my life in a way that I never thought I would live it. I mean, I'm enjoying it. And it is not just so work-oriented. Now, granted, I, I'm a serious or was a serious. Let me rephrase it. I was a serious workaholic. Right? I don't even want to say I am a recovering. I'm not claiming that anymore. But I used to be a workaholic, and I would put in 20-hour days. Sometimes I would go for 24 hours, 48 hours. You know, at one point, it was 36 hours, and then I would crash, and then I'd do it all over again. You know, and for what? So, you know, I don't know if you can relate to this. If you can, and you are looking for a change in your life, you are looking to increase 
your time with your family, your loved ones, the things that actually matter to you in your life, as opposed to being a slave to your job or your career or your own business. Because, see, I run my own business. I was a slave to my own business. If you are sick of being that way and you want to make a shift, a change, you want to learn how to work smarter, not harder, you want to learn how to put a little more effortless activity into your day to where you could actually enjoy the life that you were trying to build for you and your family, you know, because a lot of times we sit there and we build and build and build, we never take advantage of it. You know, I had a grandfather who worked all of his life and at the point when he finally got to do what he wanted to do, he died five months later, you know, and I thought to myself back then, okay, I'm, that's not going to be me. Now, I didn't know how that was not going to be me, but I just knew that was not going to be me, you know. And so I have fought against doing that nine to five since then, you know, hadn't always succeeded. But for the past several years, you know, I haven't done the nine to five thing. And now I finally found a process and a product, you know, a community that works and they are of the same mindset. Now, if you want to know how to get out of doing the job or the career or the work that you hate, you know, or spending wasted time because you are just conditioned to have to work that eight hour day in order to make your your um, ends meet, in order to drive customers and all of that, and you want a different solution, you want an actual solution, click the link below. If you are coming out of college or going into college and you have figured out that you are learning how to become someone else's slave, you know, excuse me, employee, <laughs> and you want to you wanna try something different, you want to have a different reality, click the link below. You know, click the link and learn what it is that I've discovered in the community that I'm involved with right now that has transformed so many people's lives. So many people's lives, you know, it could be your life next. So go ahead, click the link below, and I will see you on the inside. Look forward to connecting with you.